Welcome to another impromptu bowling event from the world's easiest candle pin house in the world, Mason's. If you believe that, like I've said before, I got a bridge in Brooklyn to sell you. Yet we're at the Tough House again, and we got lucky number eight with a with a right-handed pocket exposed. And this time, I'm once again bowling with Chris, and I am going first. So without further ado, let's just start sucking, or maybe I might get lucky. I can hold my own in candle pin, but welcome to Mason's. If that were only ball two, well, we'll start with a ten. Now my buddy Chris, oh, they still have the uh, 80s paint scheme on one of the bars there. On the sweep around. It sucks when it does. <laughs> Much better. Although we still get crooked pins on it. <laughs> Well, we know how Chris goes. He usually starts slow and then warms up. Yeah, I was told in the 80s they repainted aqua. David Letterman. Well, that's a stand. That's a 60 feet. They're hold the approach. Yeah. Definitely. Apparently, he likes David Letterman. Yes, I know the gap in the seats in the center, but in the center you have you have columns of two. Oh, get it out of the way! Get it out of the way. That's a that's a deuce. Get it out of the way. Seven. 
Both of us off to a flying start. If it weren't for that dropping into the gutter at the last moment. Getting there. And he's halfway to Worcester. Unfortunately here, Miola's is not halfway there. First ball. Great second ball. Seven. Just barely, barely t allow it to live. I allow a little bit over the log line. Still not bad. Eight from a half Worcester ball. And the first mark of the day goes to the one you would expect. We will have the halftime report, which is not really that good. Uh, yep. 
now the halftime report. Neither of us doing too well. That could have been a 10, but it went in the gutter. There goes two. That could have been a 9, then it went in the gutter. 39, and Chris is having the rough start, but it got the first mark. He's at a 35. So anyone say Chris will get the first mark, well, you won't be making money on that bet. It's pretty obvious. <laughs> As I mentioned, that bottom board on the sweep is not supposed to be permanently attached. It's supposed to be strapped on and allowed to dangle. That's how you avoid having pins in the gut. <laughs> to the best of my knowledge, that was a great first haul. This place has always been like that since I could remember, even as a even as a kid. It was till I started taking this up seriously again I figured out why. And ten. Doing so hot, only a six. You're not gonna watch that. Oh, I didn't even see that. Oh, that's bad. That was awesome. Not what Chris did. That was good. People next to us on lane 10, which you can't see, they're counting gutter balls, which is funny. They obviously don't play the game. I go. And a five. Like I said, he warms up. We've seen him like this before. And then he gets 100 points, which at Mason's is a miracle. Kind of a miracle. First stink frame of four. For those of you thinking I wouldn't get a stink frame in this series, well, obviously you haven't watched this all that often. It 
It's only happened twice, ever. And the David Letterman. Get the hard one out of the way. That's a good one. Oh, oh well, better than what it could have been. Good ball, but not enough pins to make it happen. Worcester shot. Queens leave. Three of the four horsemen. Ward decided not to stick around. Oh. And an eight. Time for me to hit mediocrity. Chris was telling me, I win unless he marks, and that's pretty sad when you think about it, especially when you get to see the paper afterwards, because this is the last frame of game one. Looks like I won this one. But when you see the scorecard, it's going to be a fairly sad number. And an eight. Good. Well, it's mediocrity at best. The 10, then the crappy 6 and a 4, which hurts a lot. Aiton's pair of 8's for a 75. Chris, he's still warming up. Considering how bad he's been doing, a 72. Actually, not too bad, like I said, for what he got. So, game number 2, and unlike my father, we keep the same order. Here we go. I'm going to 
told him 99 to 1, it won't be as good a start as the first game, and sure enough, it ain't. As long as we have some of those crappier frames be better, it'll be fine. Seven to start. Better. And it goes to sleep. Hey, always get that one. Starts with a five. He's at the same level right now. some free points. Well, it's a good thing that the, the balls that you throw that just helping the pin deck don't become a striker. I remember I did that before and I got a spare shot and it came down and said, oh, now it's not going to be any better. But then I threw the next ball <laughs> did you? I don't know if you heard that. But once I did a clearing like that, I got what would have been a spare. Wishing that would have counted for real. But then when I threw the first real ball, it was a strike. So strange things can happen. That was Chris Huss and David Waterman. He seems to be off his game right now. I think we got some bad kids. Yeah. 
It won't be on video, but this might be our longest stay here ever. It might be closing time before we get the third game done. Hey, pins that stand up. There's a new concept. Halfway to Worcester again. As he's saying, what is left? That's exactly it. Dare I say what's left, or I might get a demonetization thing. And the bowling gods still tell him what he thinks of it. But what the bowling gods don't know is that's still a nine. The defective pin that is wobbling and can't stand straight is the one that's standing still. Holy crap, I actually got a mark. Interesting wood pile that was still a good wood pile. Yeah, especially since the headpiece moved in. Looking good. Oh! It moved too far in. because of the leaf, but the five fill ain't too bad. got robbed by him even more. Welcome to Mason's. I knew I was going to say that eventually. Maybe. Oh, 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 come on. If that were only ball two. 
Welcome to my world, right? Yeah, we don't want to Putnam's up here. No. <laughs> As I thought the pin was far enough up, finding out it wasn't. I need to pay attention better because if. Anyway, here's the halftime report. So far, the worst thing I got is the seven, which came from the five fill in the spare. 46. And Chris, he's doing a little bit better. He's up to a 39. He's up four points from his previous. I cannot say I wish that was a ball two moment. Actually, I think I could. I got the 10 now. I heard they had some high scores over there. Lots of zeros and ones. And when you don't play the game that much, if, if almost never, that's kind of what you expect. So if the people in lane 10 were are somehow finding this video and watching. Okay. You had fun, that's all that matters. I have my shares of ones and rarely even zeros. Although I have to say there's a lot of points you counted that were not legal actually. Casual game, who cares, right? If you happen to have found this video, any gutter ball that takes out pins, you forfeit. You forfeit the pins. Now, if it's a full rack, you are allowed to reset. Otherwise, you take the penalty. Third digit in from the bowling gods for the night. I don't know, will that get me demonetized? Uh, oh, we got super wobbly crooked pin again. It's going for the Emily. You get them all on the second ball after missing everything with the first. At least the, the ultra crooked wobbly one is not the one left standing. I don't know about this one. It's kind of set up good, although that front piece of wood might be a roadblock. But it didn't matter. Ten.
just a, literally an inch off, and that's all it takes. Seven. That one slipped out of my hand. So I gotta get an actual bottle of ball cleaner. Because every time I do it the preferred way with dish detergent, it's just harder to hold the ball. I seem to have harder control. Nice shot. Oh, and then it just went right slightly. It leaves the Kaleri left, which I did on my bonus ball. Four horsemen left and the nine. Nice try. As I say, great bid. <laughs> I bid two dollars, Drew. Go for the fat one. And he's got the nine. a decent game. Average ability is 90, so typically a 10 point spread each way is considered good. So 80 to 100. Oh, 100. Here's a miracle. Enough stalling. It's going on long enough. Let's go. When you were scoring it. Right back at you. Yes, I I took away the bowling god's finger and then I gave him one back. I didn't want that showing up because it might. Ooh, oh, it's the same. to the right on so. Funny because the reflection on the phone shows if there's any slight tilt to the lane, it's to the left. I mean, for the most part, all, the lanes are fairly straight here. There's a couple of, oh, welcome to Masons. That's a three, six, only a four. Mason's is famous for the quarter Worcester pick shots like that. We only get the two or the three. I could hit average ability on this last frame. going to say, with the three pin standing, would it be a one away deal? Actually, I got him. So, average ability, especially at Mason's, for me, that's pretty damn good. Oh, 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 
wobbling more when you turn your back. Would it suck if that was the wobbly pin? And it seems to be a little too sure-footed for that. And that's pretty much what that piece of wood would have done anyway. Niner. Unless he hit it on the right, maybe he could have helicoptered it in. But helicoptering at Mason's is really hard. So pins don't like to do that here. Well, you know, better to fail at trying to clear the pin setter than actually playing the game. All right, Chris is starting to wake up a little bit. He got an 81. He's not too thrilled with that, but usually he says when he's in the 80s, he's okay. And I broke into average ability with a couple of 10s. It's three 10s, a 9, and a 7 for a 92. And as we know, it's Mason's. That that's a miracle. And I'm going to stop and start the camera because that 4 gig thing. And this thing corrupts the segments when it stops and starts on its own. So here we go. And we're back for game number three. I won that one, 92 to 81. Both waking up. First one was pathetic, 75-72, me winning. Well, for me, that's mediocrity. So nothing stunk yet. Game three. By far the worst start with a two. Matching Chris's uh, stink frame of two from game one. Catching. Yes, the Emily is catching on. Again, that's where you miss everything on the first, get them all on the second. And the lap 10 falls down at the last moment. All right. Recovers. I could. I've had that happen. He's winning. just to add insult to injury. My worst start in the first three frames is literally a one, two, and a three for a six total. That game ended in a 52. Kaliri right? Or left? I'm looking at the nine pin and calling it right. It's a nine pin is on it. Wow, the 
that there's got to be magnets. Niner. Let's see. The first frame was a two. The second one was a four. I wonder what this one will wind up with. something decent. Ouch. Well, you know, getting just the tent pit on the first ball is getting a little old, so let's go for the seven. Ooh, that's not bad. Uh, a little full, but worst case is a seven. And an eight. See, they're still trying to get people for the Mayhem League, which is that thing right there. Welcome the Masons. I guess this is another jump for for the wood where that quarter Worcester shot was. That would have been a total jump frame. Those for me almost never end well. So I got a 10, so that's good. dragging a plastic chair on the floor. Because where the scoring area is, it's a linoleum floor. There we go. The Steve Bronchuk Special. Monumental game, that's for sure. I haven't thrown a bad game in a while. It looks like this is going to be it. And our Mr. Wobbly friend is the ninth pin at this point. 
Too bad TC Bank and Trust in Fitchburg doesn't give us 25 cents for getting a strike with the wobbly pin. That's the head. Yes, that's known as, as we call it the Dennis Nuzzo effect. So you get, so you get flustered and you tr and you try way too hard and you wind up doing a lot worse. That's not bad. Okay, so it's angled in a way that it might hurt. If he hits it on the left, he should be fine. Yeah. The good thing is it worked for the time. And now it's for the time for the exciting halftime report. Actually, Chris is doing all right. Recoverable, and me, uh, this is a junk game. 2-4. Then the 9, 10, and 7. Sevens are generally okay, but when you have stuff like that, not so much. Only a 32 at the half. The 4-4 four and four kind of stinks, but other than that, the 39's not too bad. when you're hitting it, it's too full. Yeah. Just like that one. And that goes for any ball. The full is that you hit the pin too head on. Thin is if you hit it way too far to the, to the side. I believe that's an eight. It was a close call, but I believe it's an eight. so it doesn't really match. And we got a pin in the gutter.
minutes, I gotta run. Ten. frame I beat the low that I got here. Um, last frame I beat the low that I got here, which is a 44. My high was the last time I was here, which is why I suck now, because I can't do good, then do good again. The 111. That's my house high. Ultimate high is a 136. be too thin. That's when you hit the... That's when you just barely tap the pin on the side. I said it because people might be wondering, what's, what's this too full, too thin? Or some might say instead of too full, they might say too heavy, which is the same thing as too full. Or the other way, it's too thin, like we've been using, or too light. This game is totally correct. Well, I haven't hit, I haven't had a fifties in a while, but that looks like that's what I'm getting. anywhere else. Even Sawyer's. That's, a, that's not a bad place. It's a tough place, but it's not bad. If you 
heard that, too bad. It's a crap game, so I didn't care. Oh, he won this one with an eight. And one of the worst games I've had in a long time. Only the eight, that's the only good thing that was there. For a whopping 57. And Chris got an 84, so he's still slowly warming up. Well, let's see if four can be any better. We've had stuff like that happen before. Tend to start. We got neighbors on the left now. Nice ball. Too thin. Still set up pretty well. It helps if you aim the ball towards the pins you need to hit. You know how terrible I am at that. And that's a little overcompensation. Seven. <laughs> we pushed the They must have got stuck in the pit. The Jeopardy theme song fit well there. I don't know if you heard that. Oh, and here we go with our friend Mr. Pin that likes to fall over.
It's a very drunk pin. Some people say that's actually an easy leave. It don't look it. Seven lost two pins to a gutter ball, and he's celebrating that he got the two pins. Again, casual play, who cares? I mean, I let minor lobs live, so I'm not 100% to the rules either. train falls off the tracks. Let's see if we can put it back on. It's a fiver. At least it's half. Wow. Seems like you were throwing it a little hard. As Dave Madlis says, what good is it if you if you can't control it? Nice recovery. And seven. I have no idea. But we know but we know what it isn't. that Chris was going to be the first one to get a strike. He lost a ton of money. I think, I think according to MGM Grand in Las Vegas, if a strike occurs and I'm the first one to get it, you get about $10,500 in change for every 10 bucks you put down. not bad either. Oh! Also, it seems the pin deck is not, uh, needs to be cleaned up a little bit.
for the score, the six for a bonus is not too bad, but for a strike, it kind of sucks. So El Stinko 1 and 2 sort of lived up to their name. Got the 10 at least. Yeah, we know what's not going to happen. You'll see what I mean. Again, thin on the head pin, but it was there. Oh, I thought if that piece of wood helicopter again. Since the pin decks are sandpaper here, it's very hard to do. Well, at least I got eight. And here's the halftime report with the false promise or the false hope that's enclosed. So far, the five is the worst thing that happened. Strike with a six fill. We're at a 50. You see where the uh, false hope is. And three sevens, a nine and an eight for 38. That's a case where you are you have the numbers, but they're just not adding up to anything. I hate when that happens. happens. Here's a house ball. Here's mine. I don't know if the dark is showing the difference, but that's mine. Again, house balls. They're very dark and hard to tell apart. Outside at five, much better this time. Nice 
fall. Oh, then again. Oh, if he saw it behind a five could make it happen. something up there I can't see. I swear everything's going to the right. No, I don't see a reflection showing otherwise, but it's one of those days. Could be a spot where there's a little less butchered wax, I don't know. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, unless I use synthetic lanes. They typically use butcher's wax to put them on the lanes to protect them and to give a little extra glide for the ball. But safe enough to walk on when you have to go down to fix something. particular game goes. Sevens are all right. Another good game. Chris has been consistent. We both had a bad first game. I had a horrendous last third. Yeah, third game. If he hits 80s, he's doing all right, but apparently he's upped his ante. Anywhere else, he would have got the 10 with it. away from average ability. Finally, another 
Yeah, actually, it did get a strike, so I mean. Oh, what was the Oh, last frame, so I get the throw. L stink of the bonus ball for the bonus. Stinko lives up to its name with a two. So close, but so far away yet again. Except the last time I was here. I don't know. I guess it's because on again, off again, because I have to wait for my turn. It screws me up and I can't do as well. But I need to be able to handle it. I want to. <laughs> I want to get good at this someday. We all know I can do it. Ouch! And a four. had a bad game as he uh, takes care of the pin that doesn't like to stand up. All right, nines, eight, seven, two for the 94, and Chris fell apart. Five, six, and four. 71. For me, I would say at least it's mediocre, but he's got a higher standard than that. This beats that. Last two games coming up after the stop and start. And we're back for the final two games. Let's see how this goes and how many times we have to throw balls down there to fix a pin that keeps, keeps falling over. Keeps, keeps, keeps falling over. Gods are telling me what they thought of me getting 90s at Mason's. With the, with the 9. I'm sure you get the message. I know some people might not, but... Well, I already S-bombed, so... Bowling God's middle finger was remaining. Come on. Leaving one of my least favorite leads. And a reverse triangle remaining for seven.
remembered the balls coming from a, a dark hole. Yeah. I this is where the machinery is. Not every one of them. I don't think it would be... I don't think they cut out on each desk for electricals that's out of the way. I don't think so. Yeah, there used to be a subway system. I do remember as a kid the balls appearing and disappearing underground, and then they would come up a, a black hole, but I don't remember what the return was. I know it was, it originally was subway. If I remember, and I probably won't, I'll show you the tiles here in the scoring area that kind of evidence that there was a subway system here at one point. Besides the square rectangular holes that are kind of eight. This one slipped out. Still, it's a three. And I believe on two occasions I've gotten as low as a two and wound up getting a triple digit score anyway. That wouldn't happen here though, but it has happened. Valiant effort. And eight. Slow but steady. Leaves the David Letterman on the left. <laughs> Ow. That's another one of those leaves I hate. But on the positive side, there's only like 25% of the lane that won't get you anything. He found one in the other 75%. 
and a lousy five. Another I thought I'd have another Miracle 10, but no. Yeah, come to think of it, I think the balls came out over here. Because I think that's where the machine was. The tail end of it. Well, it might not have came out here. Doesn't explain the pattern. Ow. Just wobble. Don't, don't take it down, just wobble. Not just laser in the gutter. Ten. And once it's tabulated, it's time for the halftime report. It's recoverable for Chris. It is. He's got that five with a thirty-eight. It's recoverable. He can get. He can get out of that. And ouch. Recoverable for me as well. Thirty-nine. That three hurt. Seen the nine pin this time? Yeah. Uh, I did not see really that. Important. But I can see it now. Yeah, hopefully we hopefully one of us can remember that there's a bad pin here. This is making it one of the longest longest videos because of that pin. Nope. 
The magnets are on. It's a seven. I'm not sure, but I think when they have competitions, they turn the magnets off. you're not supposed to do a candle pin and I went for broke it's a one point difference so I didn't care either way would have either been a seven or an eight Ooh. oh what the heck oh at least you got a helpful piece of wood this time You're too far to the right, it might hurt. I say red line it. Well, that was exactly what I wouldn't have done, but it's but at least he got three of them. Which shows you that sometimes entirely wrong can actually not really come out bad. I have to say is when he got robbed it, it was interesting but we can't overlook the fact that he got robbed on video, so I'll say it. Bowling God's middle finger for now. But then again, I've said that many other times. So why stop? Then I'll just have to hit that button again to request a manual review, and then it gets lifted. Ow! Oh, too full again, leaving the spread eagle with a broken wing. Spread eagle with a wing blown off, shall I say. And, uh, oh, I thought he was going to get three. Well, seven from that kind of formation, not bad.
had to go in the gutter, didn't it? That's an eight. Oh, I can get into the good territory. Ooh, some action from the back. I got two out of that. There we go. Uh, a little off. It ain't. Squeaked it into good territory, just barely with a seven. There's got to be something going on there. Balls just suddenly turn right. I mean, the hook thing I can understand, but that usually happens further up. Not in the exact same zone every time. Ooh. Oh, again, too full. If it hits the three pin in the proper side. The rare helicopter. He's rebounding, but I just barely squeaked in with the 80. Oh, that's an eight. Nines and eights. Yeah. Outside of that five, he had some good numbers, but they just didn't add up to anything. That's the weirdest thing, and I hate it when it happens. 77. Well, like I said, I wanted to show you something and it might run past the four gig point, so I'm just going to do the safety stop start now. And we're back. And watch me forget what I want to show you. So, last game, let's see if either one of us can pull something magical out of our uh, posteriors. starting too bad. Makes 
me wonder how they handle tournaments. Ooh. Oh. A little full, but that was a good shot. Actually, it might not have been full. It just happens to be that way. Seven. Well, it's only the first frame. Nice recovery for the nine. Maybe because I live in a very cold apartment that I doing slightly better. During this whole negative degrees and 50 mile an hour wind thing, my heat has been on constantly and has not got above 55 till today. And believe it or not, that's not the worst apartment I've ever been in in my life. Kingpin for the night. It's electric baseball. The bedroom squeaks into 60 degrees. And there goes the game. Oh, it's one one hit. If we do all right, can afford it.
Niner. Oh, no. Half Worcester shot, not too bad, but the split kind of sucks. Oh, I said sucks. Now I'm definitely getting demonetized. Ooh. I swore that was going to get hit. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was even worse. David Letterman. stop because this wood way too far ahead of the wood line. All right, that was two balls and... Oh yeah, thanks. I'm too into the video thing to give the guy just proper thanks. Thank goodness I heard Chris say it. Yeah, it sucks, and nearly half the lane would get me something. David Letterman. Is there a particular lane you're always bowling on over there? Yeah, one and two. They fix that? No. <laughs> that could be it. Yeah. Yeah, that could be. Because if you remember in the video where we bowled on lane two, I believe. That's where I heard my name. Yeah, where Chris heard. There's no slide at all. No. I think they purposely leave it like that for kids. Because that's where they usually have the kids bowl. Because the rest of the the rest of the place I, from five on that I definitely know there is slide. Niner, eater. Yeah. 
Yeah, when you go from a place where the lane has absolutely zero slide to a place where you can slide, it, it really screws the game up. Or the other way around, and oh, the head pin fell over. I wonder if TNC Bank and Trust would have gave me 25 cents if the wobbly pin was standing and I got a strike. Time report that I almost forgot about. The six is the only bad thing I've got, so I mean, if we keep up the nines and eights, okay, 40. Now we discovered Chris's secret to doing poorly. Too used to a lane that's not uh, properly waxed for slide. And yeah, that would mess you up. 37. actually saw that coming. If that were the second ball. Right? Now that should have been the second ball. Man, that sucks. Oh, I said sucks. Demonetized. That's a nine. And I'm barely making any money off it now. One of these days, one of the places I want to try for Watch Me Suck at Bowling is the new Apex Place in Marlboro. Six candle pin lanes, 24 10 pin lanes, go kart racing, and what have not. I hit the camera. Now I got to move it back and overshoot. Good enough. Pins number eleven. This has gone on long because of that pin. Ooh, 
Ooh, that was a valiant effort. Great second ball. Little helicoptering action for the 10. At whatever legal way it takes. And a seven. See, I wanted to shoot the pins on the left, so I throw the ball to the right. Somehow, someone told me that's not a winning way to play the game. I'm not sure. So far, it seems they might be right about that. And as I said, you're probably so used to you're so used to the uh, sandpaper approaches on lanes one and two at Putnam's. I mean, that's all it takes. You get too used to one house and one style, then. As for myself, there's just no excuse. Another wishing it was ball two moment. And I thought I'd press the button. Same thing, but he's got something to fatten the pin up a little bit. Maybe. Uh, where that piece of wood was. You probably would have hit it. <laughs> I know. He gets the I wish it was ball to a moment. Welcome to Bizarro World, where where the crappy bowler is the one getting the strikes. 
two, El Stinko the bonus balls. I think we'll call that Pid Ted Kennedy. Stinko one did all right with a four. It's a little weak. Got a little lucky there with a seven fill. All right for a strike. I hit average ability. Uh, what yeah. now? Again? Hey, well, you guys, I'm going to the bar here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Teddy, what are you doing? Yeah, raw. Oh, yeah. Treep driving lessons come to Ted Kenny School of Driving. We'll teach you how to hold a beer, how to drink the beer, and how to flee a car when with a woman inside if you're... Oh, I'm a in a little swimmer. wet situation, shall we say. Oh, I'm a good swimmer when I'm drunk, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Some people may say I'm all wet behind the ears. And a rock. <laughs> Every man for himself. <laughs> Doable, it's hard, but it's doable. Just gotta throw the strike ball a little to the left. Or to the right. Whichever way. That is not one of those. Ow. Well, Chris and I both had a disaster today. And we found out, yeah, if you're used to a no-slip floor and now you play in a place where they put the wax on, yeah, yeah it's going to mess your game. Just like Harvard, I can't seem to score good at all because of their approaches. Anyway, I tied my uh, good one for the day. The sevens are the worst things, although the fill is not too bad. 92, and well, he's had better times, 74. All right, so here's the recap, and per usual, I'll probably screw it up. 75, 72, somehow I won that. 92, 81, I got that one. <coughs> To 84, he won that one. Then, oh, actually, 92 is not the high water mark. 94 is 71. Yeah, he's too used to Putnam's now. 80, 77. Since he's joined his uh, work leagues, he hasn't been the same. 74, 92. Yeah, so it's actually been not all that bad. Not, uh, <coughs> uh, let's pretend we didn't see that, okay? <laughs> no, I own up to it. I mean, that happened to me. That happened to me before. So that's an impromptu from Mason's in Lemonster, Massachusetts. Or as the locals love to call it, Leo Minster. 
or Leo Minister. We all love that. And before we go, I promised to show you a couple of things. We were talking about there used to be a automatic, no, a, used to be a subway system. There's proof of it right there. It's where the motor, I think the motor was there. And then the balls came out here, which is what I believe, uh, we can shrink this down now. And wrong camera. There we go. That's what I believe these patches are about. But I'm not sure because they're not on every lane, Chris noticed. But as you can see, the step up is quite big, so a bowling ball could easily fit in there. It's built as a 10 pin deck, kind of, because that's what they pretty much bowl, built them as. There's no such thing as a candle pin build. The owners do that stuff. So that's a 10 pin style riser so that the lanes are high enough that a 10 pin ball could travel under. And this is where, I think maybe this is where the balls actually did come up and then around. Because I remember as a kid, the balls used to come out of a quote unquote black hole. And this is much harder to see. But you can kind of tell that this is an add-on. You might not be able to see anything. Oh, actually, see the hole? That's where you got access to the balls if they got stuck down there. So yeah, that's... You can also see, a little bonus, before they painted these maroon, in the 80s they had the aqua color going on. But in the 70s, they had the, uh, they were brown. And I know there's evidence of that here somewhere. Is it on this one? Yeah, it's really hard to see, but on, oh, actually, I think right about here. Yeah, right there, earth tone brown. So I thought I'd share a little history with you. And you want to see another crooked pin? Look at the seven pin on lane 11. Yeah. So that's it for this impromptu. For some reason, the yeah, this particular image stabilizer doesn't like being handheld. Georgia 551 say, hope you enjoyed and have a good one. Yeah, this stabilizer doesn't like being handheld. There we go.